Hello everyone and welcome back. It's Thursday, which means we will be going over the solution to our maths problem of the week. This video will focus on our hot problem. So if you haven't attempted it, go back to Tuesday's video and give it a go. Now, this was very difficult maths. I will say that right away. It worked with very big numbers that we had to multiply. But here is our solution. To figure out how many bags have been posted by each of our characters, we had to figure out how many trips they had completed, then take that number and multiply it by the amount of bags they carry. For our fairy, this was quite simple. They completed 356 trips, because it only takes them a day to travel between kingdoms. And they posted 356 bags of post, because they can only carry one bag of post each time. Our wizard, this was a little bit more difficult. How do we figure out how many trips they've completed? We take that number again, 356 the total, and divide that by how long it takes for our wizard to complete one trip, which is two days. So 356 divided by two is 178. That's how many trips the wizard has completed. To figure out how many bags the wizard posted, we then had to multiply how many bags are able to carry each trip, which is the number three. So 178 multiplied by three is 534, which is how many bags our wizard is posted. Our ogre, just like our wizard, we had to figure out how many trips they actually completed. So we take 356 and we need to divide that number by four because it takes our ogre four days to complete one trip. So 356 divided by four is 89. Then we need to take that number 89 and multiply that by five, the number of bags that over carries each trip. So 89 multiplied by five is 445. So our fairies have carried 356 bags our wizards have carried 534 bags and our ogres have carried 445 bags. That's half of the problem completed. The other half we have to figure out where each of the characters actually are. So in one trip, each of our characters will be in green glades. In two trips, each of our characters will be in red ridge. Three trips, green glades. Four trips, red ridge, and so on. Was there anything you noticed when trying to decipher which kingdom the character was in? Here's what I noticed. For every odd number of trip, the character was in Green Glades, and for every even number of trip, they were in Redridge. Using that knowledge, we know that our fairy must be in Redridge because they travelled 356 times. Our wizard is also in Redridge because they travelled 178 times and our ogre must be in Green Glades because they travelled 89 times. So how did you do? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, take care and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye!